school itself uh, throughout time has always fielded a first 15 rugby and played in the first Auckland competition in 1896. So these days uh, Auckland Grammar School has 19 rugby teams which goes to show the importance that the school's always placed on, on sport but in particular on traditional team sports that have allowed boys not only to express themselves physically but to learn the values of hard work, of teamwork and importantly to understand what it is to belong to something. I think I always wanted to come here because my, my dad came to this school Coming through here was all black, so wanting to come here and do the same thing as him was, was pretty big for me. I thought this was always the place I was going to end up. Probably for what the school stands for, the hard work, the countless hours students put into their craft here is something that builds over time and helps you to become a better person in the future. It has become a platform now for boys to learn what in essence is the corridor to walk into high performance sport. We're constantly talking about your job first and foremost is to arrive at school every day to do the very best you can in academic classes to get a qualification that allows for those opportunities. It's a bit of a struggle now, I'm only young and it's good we have teachers here that really help us with that and understand that we have a lot of responsibilities around the team and playing rugby and whatnot. Sort of get your time management right. Obviously, after training, you've got to go home and push, push a few things back uh, to get your studies in. Sometimes you've got to sacrifice going to sleep a bit earlier to make sure you get all your homework and stuff done. So we come into school early on Monday morning. If we've had a game, we'll have a recovery session, which means just um, getting a bit of a sweat on, a bit of a stretch getting ourselves prepared for the week ahead. It would be tough to, to win without dedication, everyone giving 100% all the time, so I think we got to try act professional to get the balance right. Trainings on, on Monday, Wednesday and Thursday, getting us prepared for the, the coming game on Saturday. Over time, Auckland Grammar has obviously enjoyed rivalries with several different schools. The Kings fixture on an annual basis will have a crowd that will be around the capacity of 5,000 to 6,000 people, so it's a really big event within the school calendar. The game's been played for the last 121 years, so this year was the 206th occasion where the two teams have done battle against each other. Still lot, lots of old boys come watch the big games. Still enjoy seeing grandma play every week, so pretty big for them to come along. We use the concept bound in rivalry as, as a way of saying there are uh, like-minded schools that are deeply um, focused on providing educational opportunities whilst enjoying a competitive edge at the same time. And every time the boys go out, they're able to write another chapter in that very, very proud history. There's so much talent around here, so expectation to perform keeps rising every year. The level of rugby will always pick up. Everyone wants to show what Auckland Grammar is made of. All the people that have come before, they want to do Grammar Proud, I guess.